Hey guys, what's going on? Today's podcast slash YouTube collaboration is going to be a little bit different than I've, what I've done in the past. It's going to be with my buddy Andrew, and uh, we decided that you know after doing a couple of live videos on Instagram that we wanted to do a, a video that we could use uh, and put on you know the channels and talk a little bit about some different topics. So today's topic is going to be uh, kind of a two-full topic. It's going to be talking about how to get started if you're somebody who's brand new and, and feels overwhelmed with all the information that's out there, and also somebody who feels unmotivated and maybe has fallen off of the wagon and really doesn't know how to get started again. So maybe you've tried some things in the past and they haven't worked for you, um, but you're feeling a little discouraged, you're feeling a little un under-motivated, and you need to, or you want to, and you're committed to, you just don't know what you should be doing next. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce Andrew and he's gonna tell you a little bit about what he's all about and where he comes from and his experience. So Andrew, why don't you go ahead and take it away. Let's do it, Shane. So my name's Andrew Marsham. I'm of Andrew Marsham Fitness. Now, I was a very skinny guy when I started out, so 125 pounds. Um, but over the last kind of seven years, I've really kind of focused on muscle building, things like that really dive deep on that and kind of managed to go up to 175 um, in really recent years. So put, put on around 50 pounds of muscle. So I know how it feels to be skinny and not uh, be confident in the way you look and feel. So I'm here to try and show people um, and teach you guys as well how uh, I've managed that transformation and how I can help you. And hopefully he's got a lot of video uh, value out this video and podcast with Shane. Um, very knowledgeable guy. The two li two lives we've done, or the couple of lives we've done together, were excellent. Um, and I'm sure you are going to enjoy the video. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. One of the reasons why we wanted to do a recorded video is because lives are awesome. But if you can record that and, and make it viewable to other people that didn't get to see the live video, it makes it more valuable. And you can go back and listen to some of the things that maybe you missed. Uh, when you were, you know, watching the live, or or maybe you missed completely because you didn't get to see the live. So um, let's go ahead and get started with um, some you have some of your own experiences, Andrew. Uh, what are some times in your own life that you've either uh, gotten really busy and had a hard time getting your workouts in, or getting your nutrition dialed in, or maybe you've had moments where you went on vacation or went on a holiday of some kind, and, and it was harder to you know, uh, stay with your routine, or maybe you, if you can remember all the way back to when you got started, what was it like for you when you first got started, and, and what did you do? So when I first started, I'll go start kick off with that. I think that's a good place to start, of course. Um, so I really didn't have any idea what I was doing. I did not have a clue, honestly. I was absolutely clueless. Um, what I done was kind of really try and dive into YouTube and things like that, make use of the free resources. Um, I didn't really have any training partners or a personal trainer or anything like that. That's something I would definitely recommend uh, to anyone starting out. It's really going to help you take things in the right direction quickly. Um, I spent a lot of time going nowhere and doing not a lot. Um, so probably the first three to four years of my training were probably a bit of a waste in all honesty. <laughs> so really getting someone in your corner that knows what they're doing can can really help speed the process up. And with regards to being busy, of course, we're all, we're all really busy. There's absolutely no doubt about it, you know. We live in a world where speed is absolute number one now, seems to be. So I think doing a wee bit of planning in advance of your week, for example, um, you know, slotting in some workouts at times that are going to suit you. You know, if you're just starting out, for example, if we're making this video for people just starting out, start with two to three workouts a week, even one to two. That's better than nothing. That's a great place to start. Um, one of my client, previous clients, Ross, he made great pro progress in two workouts per week. So a lot of people have the, the kind of preconceived notion that you need to you know, dive into it. You need to go six, seven days a week when you start off in things. And I just don't think that's the case. Go be yourself, Shane. Yeah, no, absolutely. In fact, you and I have a very similar story, it sounds like, when we first got started. I <laughs> I really had no idea what I was doing. Um, when I was in my junior year of high school, I had I quit the baseball team because I was just tired of the politics. I was tired. It wasn't about the game anymore. It was about, you know, all the other crap that I wasn't interested in. And so when I quit, my, my grandfather, my dad's dad, uh, he was really into nutrition, he was really into exercise, he was really into health, and he told me, he said, he sent me the link to bodybuilding.com for teenagers. 
And I read that and I was like, yeah, this looks great, whatever. Like I, I didn't really even care because I had no idea what I was doing. So I got started with just going to the gym and I would just lift weights. I mean, I would just pick stuff up and lift it. Like I didn't know proper form. Um, thankfully, I was an athlete, so I didn't get hurt. But, you know, that, that could have easily have happened. And I didn't even care about nutrition at first. I just, you know, just started lifting weights. And, you know, it, it took somebody taking me to the gym because I couldn't go there myself. So um, my dad would take me to the gym and, you know, I just got started. I just, I think the most important advice for somebody who's just getting started is just jump all in. You don't have to have it all figured out right away. You don't have to have, um, you know, like the, the best nutrition, the best workout plan. Just go to the gym. If you've never picked up a weight, go pick up a weight. And if you're intimidated, then you can go with a friend or maybe you can go with somebody who knows what they're doing. But, um, you know, my recommendation is to just get started and don't, like panic or worry too much about anything uh, in the very beginning. Uh, it might feel like you know you're wasting time if you don't really know what you're doing, but honestly, you're going to learn so much more if you just go to the gym and you're going to go. Well, I don't know how to do this exercise, so maybe go look it up. Um, the other thing I would recommend for someone just starting is go to the gym and whatever you don't know, write down or put it in your phone, and then go look it up on YouTube later. YouTube yeah. is a huge resource. Me and Andrew both have YouTube channels. We provide tons of information for people who are looking for the exact information that you know someone like uh, our audience is going to be looking for. So the more you can figure out what you want to do and then go look it up or research it, the better off you'll be. 100%. You touched on a great point there. There's never really going to be that perfect time. You know, There's always going to be something in the way that's never going to be the perfect timing for your job or there's always going to be something coming up with family there's always going to be something in the road that you can talk yourself out of making the start on and i think as you said they're just throwing yourself in if you've never done anything in your life you've never picked up a weight if you've never set foot in a gym just going in and actually getting you know getting your hands dirty um it's really going to start seeing the benefits straight away those newbie gains are a real thing you know, um, <laughs> just make sure you're not getting hot. That's the one thing I would say. Right, absolutely. And, you know, the other thing that, you know, that we've kind of touched on that topic and, and kind of broken up or broken into the, the, the conversation, the other, the other thing that I get a lot of feedback on over the years uh, that I've been on social media and things like that is there being a level, for someone who's just getting started, a level of intimidation when they go to the gym. Um, and, and that's being a reason why they don't go. So... I understand that on multiple levels and if you're somebody who's just getting started with exercise and maybe starting at the gym isn't the first place you want to start at there are tons of videos on how to do exercises like at your house where you feel comfortable where you feel like um, you know you're not being judged or you're not being looked at or, or maybe you don't want to look stupid you know because you don't know what exercise to do or how to do it properly um, there are tons of videos for free that you can find on YouTube that are like body weight workouts. And there's for beginners, there's for advanced, there's for intermediate, um, there's how to videos. I mean, what I would do if I was somebody is I would maybe just spend the first couple of weeks before you actually want to get ready with exercise and just look up, you know, YouTube videos on how to do things. And yeah, you might not be perfect at it after watching a YouTube video, but at least you'll have a better sense. You won't feel as intimidated and you won't feel as embarrassed when you go to the gym. And you do something because you've already either tried it at home or you've watched a video on on YouTube. Hundred percent. There's a good analogy that like, if if you are going to a restaurant, for example, would you rather get a meal cooked by the guy who's read fifty books on how to cook a certain meal, or the guy who's cooked it, you know, fifty times, you know, <laughs> and just never read the book? So right. it's gonna throw yourself into it and learn as you go. That's one thing that I would, I would I would suggest. Try not to get too caught up in the details, you know. Start writing down some goals and things like that. You know, what is it you want to achieve when you start in the gym? Do you want to go into a, a muscle building phase or do you want to lose some fat? You know, start, start writing down some numbers. And they really, I find that really writing something down physically on paper and actually tying that in is, is, is a great motivator for anybody. Absolutely. No, exactly. When you when you kind of put a mission statement, and you put it in stone. It it becomes real. It becomes physical. Hundred percent. So Shane, we 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 can have the topic of the main topic of this video we're going for was um, the kind of the main steps and things to get people going in the beginning. So 
what would be your or, or people who had lost their momentum? So what would be your, for example, top five um, steps for someone initially uh, starting out so we can give the people, you know, something to take away? Sure. Yeah. So the first thing I would say is keep keep it simple, stupid. Um, it, the, the more complicated you make it, the harder everything's going to get. If you well, want to do like a like a a low carb diet and that makes it simple for you, that's fine. If you want to just eat food that you can make at home, then that's fine. If you want to eat, uh, you know, whatever, when it comes to nutrition, make it simple. If you're going to try to do a bunch of different things, it's going to be really, really hard to keep up with. Give yourself time and patience. Uh, and that's actually number two, be patient. When you, you know, if, if you, if I would told you to sit down at a piano and play Mozart and you haven't even gone through three lessons, you wouldn't be able to do it. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't even feel ashamed because that's not even a big deal. Well, you have to think about nutrition and exercise and, and having these health goals is the same thing. You don't expect to have a six pack in two weeks just because you started eating some kale and then you started running every day. That's just <laughs> not going to happen. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I, I wish it would because that would be pretty badass, be, but, be uh, but Right. Yeah. So, but me and Andrew can both attest to the fact that it took us time to not only learn what we were doing, but it also took us time to achieve the bodies that we were after, that we were seeking. Um, so give yourself patience. You know, I would set a one year plan at the very minimum, set a one year plan and break that down into pieces, but give yourself about a year to not only start learning more information, but to also, you know, have that time to, to implement the action plan. Um, number three is, I would say don't skimp on the not sexy stuff. And what I mean by that is make sure you're also trying to get good sleep the best you can. Sleep is a hard one for a lot of people, but that's a, that's a big one. Um, and then also when it comes to like stress management, find ways to re, you know relieve stress, which exercise is a great way to do that. So you kind of kill two birds with one stone. Um, so yeah, don't forget about the other things like sleep. Those are also important. Um, the fourth thing I would say is don't get discouraged by by failing. Um, I think the reason why people that you know lose momentum or don't even get started or can't keep uh, going is because they they feel like every failure they make is two steps back and one step forward. And uh, if you look at any famous inventor or Steve Jobs or anyone who's had a lot of success in the world, they've failed about a thousand times and had success a single time. And it usually was the last thing. Couldn't agree more. So, so when you fail, yeah, just use it as a learning lesson. I, I, this morning I did something that I probably should have known better not to do. And I did it anyway. And it was when it was some advice I was giving with training. And I just said, you know what, I'll just learn, you know, I'll learn from this. I'll learn from this moment. And, and that's what it was. And it's no big deal. Um, and then, you know, if I had to get a fifth one, I don't know, you know, what would be a good fifth one out of all the things we've talked about? Um, I would say, aside from making it simple, make it easy. Uh, simple and easy are kind of similar words, but like, like you had mentioned earlier, Andrew, don't go to the gym five days a week if you can only manage, like if you've never even gone twice a week. Uh, set really simple goals and really easy goals. If you can't do the easy stuff, you'll never conquer the, the difficult stuff. So, you know, it might sound silly because you got friends or you know people that are doing five or six days a week at the gym, um, but nobody starts there. Do two weeks a day at the gym. Uh, go for walks every now and then. Try to eat really clean, you know, two days a week or one meal a day, whatever you can manage. And then that momentum from succeeding at that will carry you on into the future and make it easier to exercise more often and eat better more often. Love it. Be great, great five there, Shane. So I'll give you kind of my top five, and it's probably going to take a very similar form. So first and foremost, as I mentioned earlier, write a goal down. Writing that down is going to be a very powerful start. It gives you a tie-in, gives you something to commit to. And then you know where you want to go. You know, you've got a picture in your head um, and start just kind of working towards it. Number two, take it easy. Take it slow. Um, as, as we previously discussed there, don't, there's, there's no point in diving in and trying to go from eating, you know, burgers and chips and pizzas and things to and doing nothing to 
eating, a, as you said, a low carb diet and training six, seven days a week, it's never going to last. You're going to get burnt out. You're going to get overwhelmed to start with. So take it very slow. See if that means swapping out fizzy juice for diet juice this week um, and then just going some walks to make the start. That's perfectly fine. You know, that's a good start. Um, number three would probably be to get some sort of kind of structure in place. So have a have a, as you said a one year plan is a great great way to look at it. You know, um, kind of going if you're if you're finding yourself kind of going into the gym, um, not really knowing what to do, um, just just try and start writing things down. There's so much power in writing things down, even if it's not perfect. Um, if you're working and improving on it, and you know staying consistent with it, um, then you're going to you're going to make progress over time. So get things right down. You know anything and everything. By the way, you know write down what you done that week for workouts. Write down what you had for to eat. You know, write down anything and everything. It gives you something to look at, and then you can you can see where you're going wrong or where you're going right. You know, gives you a bit of hard data. Number four, patience. As you said. Um, excellent one, Shane. Don't expect a six pack in two weeks. Don't expect to look like Ronnie Coleman in three three months. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so just have a bit of patience. Nobody goes in the gym and absolutely bats it out the park day one. Nobody, unless you're seriously genetically gifted, which I know a few, by the way, <laughs> are going to look, you know, incredible after six months in the gym. It's all about just making progress and staying in your own lane and celebrating your own wins, you know, making these small goals and hitting them. The number five would probably be something we touched on a little, little bit earlier, the insecurity thing, um, you know, being a bit intimidated at starting the gym. That's something I can really resonate with. So when I started in the gym, I was extremely skinny and the thought of going in there and seeing people and having people see me lift like, Essentially, the pink dumbbells, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> not the way that other people were throwing around. That was very intimidating to start with. But what you've got to remember is everybody starts somewhere. And see, all in all honesty, everyone's got their own problems. You, what you're doing in the gym, is probably not having any effect on them whatsoever. You know, they've all got their own concerns. They've all got their own issues. Just go in, do you put the blinkers on. Um, and go for it. It'll be the best decision you ever make. And it was the best decision I ever made. I absolutely testify to that. Perfect. No, I, that was awesome. And I want to highlight just one thing about what Andrew said um, about the plan. It's not going to, it's not always going to be executed perfectly. That A plan is not designed, in my mind, to be done perfectly because there's, the world doesn't work like that. The plan is to have structure so that when you run into an issue, you know exactly what you're supposed to be focusing on. So if you have a plan, it's not that it's going to go perfectly when you plan it out, as you planned it, because there's no way to predict the future, but it's to have structure. And I think that ties into goals as well. Have a mission statement for yourself. Have something that, that you're trying to achieve very clear cut and, and uh, precise. Like I want to, don't, and it doesn't always have to be weight loss, but let, you know, for example, I want to lose 50 pounds. Okay, well, that's great. Well, what are you going to do to make that happen, right? Well, I'm going to eat you know, four clean meals a week and I'm going to exercise three times a week. Perfect. Now, when you veer off from that and you kind of lose sight of things for whatever reason, this comes to the unmotivated part, that is your mission. That is still your goal. And you are still always trying to achieve that. So that's what you want to think of when you fall off the horse or you get discouraged or you, you lose your routine is you have that mission statement for yourself that says, this is what I need to achieve. And this is my goal. Love it. Love it. Powerful stuff. All right. So I think that pretty much is a good place to end off uh, yeah. the yes. podcast today. I think it's, I mean, I think it's an awesome uh, kind of list of things people can focus on. If you guys have any questions for me or Andrew, maybe you listen to this and you want a little bit more information, uh, Andrew, where can people find you on social media? So uh, over on Andrew Marsham underscore fitness on Instagram. Um, also Andrew Marsham fitness on uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube as well. That's Marsham with an M, not an L. <laughs> uh, 
but hopefully he's enjoyed that podcast. And again, Shane's absolutely an incredible guy. He knows his stuff. Obviously, guys, I mean, yo, Facebook, right? what is going on, so, guys? Um, I want to hop in here and pop in for oh, some quick on motivational on Monday. I don't know what happened there. Something came on in my screen. Um, but <laughs> obviously, Shane's a very motivational guy, you know, a lot, lot of knowledge in him, a lot of experience. So stick around, um, stay tuned to him and get those questions in if you want to follow up or you need any further help with us. Perfect. Awesome. I'm glad that they can uh, reach out to you. And you guys know my, my handles. Pretty much everything is Shane Hubbard Fit. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube even, because uh, I finally got my URL <laughs> fixed. <laughs> uh, so you guys can reach out to either one of us. And if you have any questions on today's episode, feel free to reach out to us. We're both, we both answer all of our DMs. It's not like there's some kind of bot that's controlling all of it. So uh, you'll be talking to us personally, and we'd love to hear from you guys. So without further ado, Andrew, thank you for being on the YouTube Absolutely. video and for being on the podcast. I appreciate it. Absolutely, man. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon and stay tuned for future YouTube collaborations and podcast episodes.